Have you been searching for letterbrush art but you found absolutely nothing? Well, in this video, I will show you what letterbrush art is. So let's get right to it. Hey, it's Marisol here and this is Art Heals You, helping you expand your creativity and use painting as a self-care tool. And in this channel, I will be doing painting tutorials, painting tips, as well as art product reviews. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So you may be asking yourself, what is letterbrush art? So let me tell you first in Wikipedia terms. This art form, originally called Chinese calligraphy, is traditionally the writing of Chinese characters combining visual art and interpretation of the literary meaning. This art form was widely practiced in China and has evolved over the years. So there you go, that's the definition from Wikipedia. But let me tell you a little bit more in my terms what is letterbrush art. To me, letterbrush art is a name or a word where each letter represents an animal, a flower, or it can pretty much represent anything, even animated characters. This art form is also known as Chinese calligraphy. It can be known as pictorial calligraphy, Chinese name art, as well as rainbow art, brush art. But what I like to use most is either name painting or letterbrush art. You may have seen these names painted either at a theme park or maybe on your trip to Hawaii or any other part of the world. But let me tell you, when you see one of these artists painting live, it is really fun to watch. So I am the artist behind Lovely Name Paintings and I have been painting, I wanna say since 2013. And I will say that my style is a little different than the traditional pictorial calligraphy. I love using animals, flowers, but at most I love using animated characters. So by now you may be asking yourself, what do you use to create your names? Well, let's go over my art materials. I like to use Chroma Temp Artist Tempera Paint, as well as Higgins Ink, my special brushes, heavy illustration paper, and as an extra, I like to use glitter. It just really makes everything sparkly and fun. In the next videos, I will be showing you more details about my art materials, as well as my paintbrushes and my whole setup. So please stay tuned. And if you are getting value from this video, please let me know by hitting that like button right down below. A question I have for you now is, have you gotten your name painted? And if so, let me know what theme did you choose? Also, maybe let me know where did you get it done and did you watch the artist paint to life? That would be so awesome. So please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. Also, if you are interested in learning more about this skill, I am in the process of building an online course, so make sure you go to the description below to sign up for the Lovely Name Painting School waitlist. And I will be sure to keep you guys posted on when I launch. I am so excited to be showing you more about this technique in the future videos, and I can't wait for you to be painting along with me. So until then, stay creative and I'll be seeing you soon.